That's all right. My mama didn't have to put a sheet over me. for 60 days. So you have nothing to lose. Go to MyPillow.com. Type in the word IMUS, IMUS. And uh, order a couple of them. I mean, I thought it was nonsense. Not. It'll change the way you feel about yourself because you'll feel better. I bet. MyPillow.com do. Not too long ago, some people thought we were crazy to build a factory in America. They said it would cost a fortune, said it wouldn't be efficient or profitable. Well, two American factories later, more and more people are saying thank you. I'm David McNeil, owner of WeatherTech. We design and manufacture floor liners for your vehicle right here in the U.S. Sure, we knew we could save money by manufacturing overseas, but it was more important to us to create jobs, American jobs, right here in the U.S. We filled our factories with American machinery and American workers, the way it's supposed to be. Now, more good Americans have good jobs making the highest quality automotive accessories in the world. We do that with American pride, and that's not something you can manufacture anywhere else. Check out everything we have for your car, including our custom laser-measured floor liners at WeatherTech.com, or call 1-800-CARMATS. Well, who's in the 47%? We have clear skies this morning in midtown Manhattan at an even 60 degrees. I'm Connell McShane with the stories you'll be talking about on 77 WABC and WABCRadio.com. That is brought to you by ProCure. You discover proton therapy for prostate cancer. Go to ProCure.com. So there's 47% of Americans, Mitt Romney, saying they pay no income tax. There's a new study out now. It's from the Nonpartisan Tax Policy Center. The number's actually 46% of households, and some of them got senior citizen tax breaks, some low income, getting tax breaks for college tuition. The study says among all of them who don't owe any of this uh, income tax, 9 out of 10 make $50,000 or less, but 4,000 households who earn more than a million dollars don't pay federal income tax or didn't last year as for the campaign today it's in florida mitt romney continues in that state after appearing at a forum hosted by the spanish language tv network univision last night president obama will be at that forum today and the wabc weather from channel 7 meteorologist dr bill evans today a mix of sun and clouds in the low 70s i'm connell mcshane breaking news and stimulating talk on 77 wabc and wabcradio.com are you like most people when you sleep, tossing and turning all night? Does your pillow go flat and you wake up with a sore neck or a headache? The answer is simple. My pillow. That's right, my pillow. The most comfortable pillow you will ever own. Countless people now use my pillow to amazing and life-changing results. From shoulder issues, back and neck ailments, to simply getting a better night's sleep to get through the day. My pillow is the simple and life-changing solution. There are countless testimonials on mypillow.com. But try this life-changing product yourself by calling 800-916-1133. 800-916-1133. And because MyPillow and founder Michael Lindell are proud sponsors of the I Miss Ranch Golf Outing, use promo code RANCH for 25% off your total purchase. And if you buy four or more pillows for the family, MyPillow will give you an additional $40 credit. MyPillow, the most comfortable pillow you will ever own. Heard the news? Apple's new iPhone is coming out, and you really, really want it. But here's the problem. 
You need to sell your old phone to pay for it, and who knows how long that will take. Well, here's a great solution. eBay's InstantSale.com lets you lock in a sale price for your old phone right now. And you don't have to part with it until the new iPhone is available. Got an iPhone 4S? eBay's InstantSale.com will pay you up to $400 for it. Got an HTC device? Get up to $200 for it. Got a BlackBerry? Get up to $165 for it, and the shipping is free. So find out what your cell phone or just about any of your other unused electronics will fetch. Now, actual prices paid may vary based on whether the condition of the item matches the description you provided. And offer prices are subject to change. So lock in your sale price early to secure the highest value for your old device. No hassle, no waiting. See InstantSale.com for complete details. That's InstantSale.com. Tomorrow's Friday already? I know, it has gone fast this week. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, please welcome to the Average Morning Program, I fave Fox News contributor, author, all that sort of thing. Has her own radio show, got everything. I'm Monica Carly. Good morning, Ms. Carly. Good morning, Mr. Imus. It's good to have you back in New York City. I said to Carly, I said, man, I said, you work out because you look great. She showed me her muscle. Bicep, yeah. Oh, get out Do you of want here, to man. see it? Yeah. On radio, you can't see it, but on Fox Business, you can. Check look, it out. Look at that. See, I could, beat up, I could beat up both uh, Imus and Connell. That's what, that's what like did. Like in one fell swoop, yeah, right? Not about Just it. Just boom, hit yeah, him, baby. Hit him, boom. Hit him, hit him. Jeez. That's what did. Yeah. I'm going to do it rhetorically, Rick. Bernie. Okay. Okay. So, uh, do you like this jacket? Uh, yeah. Hey. But then again, you always look smooth. Thanks. Joseph Abood makes my jackets. Uh, Hickey Freeman. And I have about 25 of them, which I pay for, by the way. So I say to him, um, I need some more jackets, because I get tired of them. I get more in some of them. And um, so I get a snippy text from him. Have Michael Lindell make your effing jacket. <laughs> Michael Lindell's got my pillow. So uh, so now, now, uh, so the hell with Joseph Abood. So if you make uh, custom jackets, clothes, uh, give, give my office a call, and uh, I have you come over, and I'll, and I'll give you one of the George jackets. <laughs> you, you have like no loyalty Not to whatsoever, him, no. right? No, no. You're like you're like a jacket whore. No. You will go with like anybody <laughs> yes. who sucks up to you yeah. no, and no. gives you a nice jacket. Joseph Abood has been your friend for a very long time. You're ready to throw him under the bus? He's under the bus. It's <laughs> a lot of room under there. He's under there. <laughs> First of all, I pay for my clothes. Bill O'Reilly. Who doesn't pay for his clothes? All of these guys, uh, oh, uh, uh, Hannity, all these slugs, they don't pay for their clothes. They get free clothes. I don't do that. I pay for my shirts and I pay for these. But well, you always look very nice. Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> you know what I think about you? I'll tell you, I like you a lot. Because, George, I know you work with, these, with Dixon and these various people. Mm -hmm. But I think, and I say to people all the time about Monica Colling, it sounds to me as though. And not just you, but that you've memorized a bunch of right-wing Republican conservative oh, talking points. Here we go. Yeah. Go ahead, continue. Okay. And then just come in and regurgitate them whenever you're asked a question. You are totally wrong. Okay. First of all, I was born in Arizona on an army Where? base, Fort Huachuca. Oh, yeah? On an army base. So I came out of the womb conservative. Conservative principles are deeply embedded in my psyche, in my philosophy, in who I am. So the idea that somehow I memorized something, no. I, I, from a very young age, I was a conservative. And then as I got older, I learned why I was a conservative and why those principles were correct. So the way the arc ordinarily works, and I understand this is trite, but um, we're all liberal when we're younger. Except for me. Okay. Yeah. Then, I, I was, by the way, I was like the female uh, Michael uh, 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 Keaton uh, on uh, Family Ties, right, where he had the picture of Ronald Reagan. Right. Yeah. Or and Richard then, Nixon. Yeah, I was that. I was okay. that kid. And then as we get older and get more sense, yeah. we become conservatives. Uh, so when I was, uh, you know, 19, 20, 21, and up uh, to about 30, I wanted to burn the buildings of the government down, you know. So. And uh, I'm still a little bit that way. But uh, uh, you, but you came out of the womb as you just said, 
A conservative, why? Yeah. Now, do you want, still want to burn down the buildings of the government, but for a different reason? Yeah. Yeah, because government has gotten so big and so out of control and infringing on your freedom at every turn, right? Yeah. Taxing you to death and, I mean, just, just infringing on every liberty that the Founding Fathers gave us. But I don't embrace a bunch of conservatives. I mean, I support gay marriage wholeheartedly. I don't think I'm an enthusiastic supporter of the death penalty. I'm a huge supporter of the right to own uh, guns. I got a lot of them. Right. Responsibly own guns. I'm saying they wrong with making a person get a license to get one. Mm -hmm. um, so on the uh, social issues, you're, yeah, you're, the, you're moderate to, to yeah. liberal. But on the fiscal issues, the size of government, all of the issues that matter today to most of the American people, you are you're a conservative. Very conservative. Right. Good for so, you. So do you think, um, sort of digressing, but when I asked Bernie and... Uh, Tamara Holden of this new era. Do you think that these videos, one's leaked by of uh, Mitt Romney, in which he revealed himself to be an idiot, and the one He did of, not. Uh, he revealed himself to be correct. Go and, ahead. Continue. And the one of uh, President Obama, in which he revealed himself to be about a half a commie, are going to hurt either one of them come November? I would only take issue with your comment about Obama and half a commie. I would say he revealed himself to be a total commie. Um, look, these kinds of videos, when they make their way into the press, only have real impact when they reinforce an existing narrative about a candidate. I think uh, what Mitt Romney had to say, and he's dealing with uh, the fallout from this now, but I think most of the American people are actually with him in the sense that they believe that government has gotten too big, that Barack Obama has moved us from an opportunity society to a government dependency society and you do see it in a lot of the economic numbers and the massive expansion of the social welfare programs 50 million people on food stamps and so on um, that choice needs to be made really clear I think this is a huge opportunity for Governor Romney and he started yesterday wrote a great op-ed in, in USA Today talking about how his message is one of economic freedom versus Obama's message as the videotape reinforced from 1998 that he believes in state directed redistributionism, so, socialism, statism, some, whatever you want to call it. Some, that's the way he's governed for the last four no, no. years. This is not a mystery, he, Don. He, he said not some. a mystery. Okay. So do you think that Governor Romney and, and, uh, and President Obama mean anything they